Alrighty then, welcome in you trader nerds. How are y'all? It is a Thursday, I believe. Now tomorrow I will not be here because I will be going where, Beth? We're going to we're going to the Georgia Aquarium well, on a uh, field trip. So we will not have a Muscadine Mafia session tomorrow, but we will want to have one next week. And next week's Muscadine Mafia, Hello Ladies Gang, Hello Ladies, Hello Ladies. And Ninja Nerds will be on uh, the 441 and the 221 that Tony talks about. So we're going to go over those next week, which should be kind of fun. So uh, we've already got a plan. We know where we're going. We know what we're doing. So we will not have a session tomorrow since I will be at the uh, Georgia Aquarium. So for a field trip with my children, y'all, volatility has popped up to 21. Look at this. Volume is elevated. We are down 1.21%. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a bear market. Now, has this been called a bear market by anybody other than yours truly and you guys? Not at all. But our research has shown, and it's not my research. We're relying on the research of others. If you'll go to the research tab in the Discord room, you will see that I posted a couple videos there that show you that if we're below certain moving averages, eh, you're pretty much at a bear market. And so we are in a bear market. Now, it's not officially a bear market. I don't think anybody's called bear market, whatever. You know, oh, it's a minor correction. No, 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 no. Until the data changes, ladies and gentlemen, you and I are in a bear market. Now, the question is, are you able to continue to do your 111s and 112s and 121s in a bear market? I think you're going to be just fine. But what do I know? I am the worst trader on the planet. So 1.25% down today. AD is continuing to make new lows. You see that by the little red dots there? So it's making new lows on the day. So this uh, is uh, very, 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 very bearish. Let's look at our big green monster. And look at this, y'all. We just went outside the expected move for the week. So, you know, will it pop back up in the expected move? We don't know. Let's look at the Big Green Monster, which will tell us a lot of information. Now, Big Green Monster is, oh, wow. We have now, ladies and gentlemen, we are now oversold. So our Big Green Monster is telling us that the move down is a touch under overdone. And we would anticipate after some period of time within this, so it may even go to test this level, we would anticipate that we would return back into the fair value zone. Now, problem with this is this, Big Green Monster is getting kind of old. We will redraw the Big Green Monster on the 1st of November. So, you know, what will happen then? This entire thing will shift down a little bit. But for this moment, we think that we're probably kind of getting close to a bottom on this move. So we shall see. Now, look, it's very interesting on the um, – very inter what the crap is that? I don't want to do that. Trade view, continue, blah, blah. I don't want to trade. Where's my thing at? Where's my trade view? Here we go. Here we go. Uh, volume on the down move has been lower, lower, lower. Then it kind of moved up. So we'll see what the volume is today. But I think the down move is getting a little bit tired, a little tired. Notice our entire linear regression now is pointing downward, which is another confirmation for you and I in the time frame that we trade that we're in a, we're in a bear market. We are in a bear market for all intents and purposes and for what we actually do. Okay. Any questions on our analysis of the market? Don't let, this should not surprise you at all. You go, oh my God, we're down. Oh, see it. Yeah, we're down. This is just part of it. So let's say our little counts are taking a beating today. Let's go to the IRA count. See how we're doing. So yesterday, or let's say 1024. So 1026. Let's see how we're doing today. This is the IRA. 10.26.23, we were at 88.540. We would anticipate being down today. Let's see where we're at. We are at 203. If I can remember how to get the thing here. We are at 87.016. 87.016. Put that in. 87.016. Beautiful. All right. We are down quite a bit, though. All right, let's go over here. Let's see what our, our deltas will have expanded because we went down as an opposite effect. So we're 184, 110, 184, 110. See how our things do here, 184, 110. So now we're looking good on our, um, 
in our little, uh, what is that called? Theta. Theta looks good. Let's go see how much buying power we're using. We are using 34,950, say. 34,950. That increased a little bit. So we're at 40%. Should be at 35%. This is fine. This is a little long. How long are we? We are a little long by 53 delta. Okay. No big deal. Let's see our individual deltas of our positions and see what those look like. So remember, we start saying, hey, we need to make a decision if our naked puts get to a 30 delta or so. So let's see what our option delta is. Oh, we do have some 30 deltas puts there, don't we? Hey, this will be kind of good because we've not had to do this in a while. So why don't we, you and I, uh, look at some of these and let's uh, let's make a decision on whether we should roll them or not. All right. First of all, these that are 22 days out. Let's see how this is doing. 305, 39, Delta. Let's roll some of them. This will be a good thing because we've not had to do this. So let's now close these 4125s. Let's see where those are on the, the little thing, though. Let's go look. 4125 is right in here. All right, if I were to move this little thing here to the 4125, 4100, 4150, so about 4125 is about there. So you see, that's kind of getting a little close, right? Getting a little close. So let's see what we can do with them. Now, I'm probably more apt to roll something like the ones that's the 22 days rather than the 50 days first. So even though the deltas are about the same for all of those, so let's just close those, okay? And then we'll roll them out and see what we can do. So let's close those out, create a closing order, buy two. Now, I'm going to, oh, man, that's a terrible price, isn't it? 57. I'm going to price it lower just to make sure that's not a mistake. 57. I would have sold that for, what, 20 or so? Let's see what that goes for. Nope. It is no mistake, my friend. Painful. Painful. All right, so we got out of those. We got out of 4100s for 5675. 4100s for 5675. 4100s. Oh my God, did I not? Here they are. 4100s for 20. Yeah, 5675. So let's put that in. Closing price was 56.75. And we exited that little puppy today's date, which was 10, 26, 23. All right. Now, you could do the thing as a single row order or whatever. I just don't like doing that. I'd rather close something and, and enter in my new position. Okay. So we close that. All right. Now, let's also look at this one, the 58 day 22, the 40 fifties, you would think that they're probably in that same situation. Let's go back to monitor tab. Let's go to the 40 fifties. There they are. Where they at? 40 fifties for 22 days. There they are. They're moving. Now let's create a closing order for those. So those are at 44, 43, 75. Let's see if we can get out of those. The 40, 50s, we are out at $44 at 22 days. So let's go $44. Let's go close those. $44. Now, here's what I hope everybody's understanding. This is what we want to happen. We want to be tested. We want to realize, because otherwise, if we're not tested and we can't survive this, then what's the purpose in even trading, right? Just go buy your spy and hold it. So we think we can do better, but we are, this is a laboratory. And you and I in the laboratory are trying to say, hey, can we do this? So let's see if we can. 10, 26, 23. So we close. Four naked puts, okay? Now, 
Let's see if we can roll these things down. So the closing debit was $442. And I also, I guess I could do these as a single trade or I could do them separately. I could combine the two, but let's just, let's just treat them separate. So $442 is what it took to close the trade. Y'all remember that. Okay. So let's go to our platform, 442. And we were at the 4050. Let's go out in time now. Trade ES. 22 days. Let's see if we can go out to 22 days. Let's try to add 30 days to that or more. All right. So if you go go 30, you go to 52. Let's see what those are. 50. Let's see what those look like. Now, i got to do my thing here. So I would have to get something that would be around in the 3,600 range. Boy, look at those red-ass spreads. God, that is just atrocious. Uh, probably is going to be better if I do something that's on a even number like this. Let's just look at this and see what it looks like here. So that would be, oh, my God, I can't even get the uh, things right, do I? What am I thinking? Let's see, a power of five. Okay, Bobby, you've got to remember your multiplier here. All right, you see, I hadn't done this a lot, right? You're like, what the hell is he doing? So if we were to go out to that 40, 50 or so, let's see what these go for. 40, 50, that would be $333. We could roll to the same strike. 40, 50, was it? Uh oh, I don't want to sell it, not buy it. Bob. So there was the. What am I doing? What am I doing? That's that? a forty-one delta. I don't think you want to do that. I don't want to do that for sure. Oh, I gotta, I gotta remember too. I'm supposed to do two of them, y'all. Yeah, we want to roll out and down. We want to roll out and down. So if we did this, I see what this looks like. Yeah, this is where I'm messing up. Confirm and see, and that's $199 uh, for two of those puppies. So we want to get $400, right? So what I'm saying is it looks like, now that's a, God almighty, that is a huge bit ass. Probably we're more likely here, right? Boy, I don't like the liquidity on some of these things. There we go. And that's what we're doing. So we're rolling it out and down. Let's see what it was. It was the, I'll get it right in a second. We close the forty one or the forty fifty. So we want to be down below the forty fifty. Okay. So if we were to roll to the forty fifty, geez Louise, these bid ass prices. That's three forty four, but that's for one of them. Let's go. Let's see what we can go out for here. Forty ten. Two of those. 569. So you kind of see what we're doing here. I kind of want to roll out and down as far as I can just to get the same credit. So a credit of $50. We're getting close. It's $509 sayer. And how much did it take to close that one? 442? Yeah. So that kind of looks like a good one there. We could roll down to a 3980, put it much safer, right? It is a 25 delta, but uh, that's certainly much better. Let's see what the 39, we're still a little little off here. Let's do 3970. Let's get up to that mid price here. Two of those. 279, but that price is just so critical. The mid price is 53. Let's see, 527. That's good. Um, let's try moving that. I bet it won't be filled at that mid price, though, will it? 53. It's probably more like a 48 or so than a 53. Let's go down. Let's cancel that. Oh, I love this. I hope y'all love it. 
I love being tested. I love trying out our plan to see if we can survive. This is really good stuff. So let's go here. 3960 multiplier of five. What does that look like? 474. That looks really good. And we are filled. Okay, so we got a credit of 474. So let's put that in our spreadsheet. You want to? So we went out 50 days, so about 30 extra days. We went out 50 days, and we put on a 3960. 50 days, 3960. 50 days. And we entered it on uh, 10, 26, 23. And we'll call this naked put, and I won't even call it a row. I'll just, you know, we'll just let it know that it's in there. I, I don't know. Maybe I should call it a row. Why's my little thing not doing that? Huh. What's wrong with you, little joker? So we did two of those. Naked put, 91. And I'll do something to say it's a row. That's what I think. So we got it much safer. Puts, naked. And we sold that for forty-seven seventy-five. Forty-seven point seven five. Good. Good, 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 good. What account? Oh. Look at there. It thinks we did a thing saying. Why is that saying reference there? Is it because of my my little thing we did there? No. Let's roll this down. Oh. Huh. Come here, little fella. Why are you doing a reference school problem there? Right, we chose NES. We chose NES there. Hold on. Format painter. Let's format that to be the same thing. Now, huh. I don't know why it's not doing my little formula. 3962, naked 50, 1026, 50, 47, 75. Let's see. Hold on. Variables, 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 variables. If Yep, this, this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that. I don't see any mistakes in the formula. Oh, well, we'll fix it. I think you copied the 249 cell into the 250. You think I copied the 249 cell into the if I, That's what I tried to do. Let me just do it manually. Control C. And 249 is blank now, so it's getting a rough. Yeah, this is the where it should. Let me see. Let me do Control C here and do Control V there. Okay, so that fixed that, but the reason why this one is not working is beyond me. Let me try something else. Let's just say we paid 50 for it. Will it work there? No. Uh, okay, that's driving me crazy. Here's what I want to do then. Why don't we do this? Should you have a reference to the 251 cell in that? Go back to that formula. Yeah, let's see. And A251 is equal to slash MES, which is currently empty. Oh, look at that. Why does it say if AN251 is... I'm guessing because you may have dragged it. I see that reference in a couple of spots. Yeah, look at there. The though. formula shouldn't... So drag a, co drag a fresh copy of that uh, you know, formula down. Huh. And it's still 250, 249... Uh, take a look at the next formula up. So, like from 248 that or says 247. That 250 equals MES. Well, I shouldn't say anything about 250. Go up another. It may have gotten damaged earlier. So, oh, this one's good. That. So, that drag and good. copy that one. Yeah, something got mixed up. Thank you so much. Look at that. Now we are ready to roll, my friends. Thank you so much. Who did that? Who said that? Who was that? Yeah, we got it now. Okay, so everybody sees what we did. It it 
we we put it in problem child status. Actually, we've got a thing over here that you can put it in problem child status, right? If you want to keep up with it now. So let's do that. Let's go uh, problem child. We'll just create it here. Problem child was uh, naked put 86, right? Naked put 86. Let's go do that. Where's it at? Naked put 86. 86. Initial trade brought in a credit of keep doing the wrong tab. Initial trade brought in a credit of 21206. Two twelve oh six. Okay. We closed Mr. Naked Put. Keep going the wrong tab, buddy. Close Mr. Naked Put for a closing debit of four forty two ninety four. Four forty two point ninety four. Sold a second naked put. Okay. And then we got a credit for that of four seventy four fifty six. Let's put that in four seventy four fifty six. Four seventy four point fifty six. All right. Expected credit on the put debit spread. Now that's interesting. Let's go look at that. The put debit spread that we have is uh well dang the put debit spread is already closed see that's the problem that is one of the problems with having those right and not having enough put debit spreads out with those so that's going to be a, a a zero we're going to put zero we're not going to depend on our put debit spread to do us anything so let's go back to our problem child so we'll say zero there Anticipated close of the naked put here. Okay, so let's make sure our credit's here. We sold that. We sold another one. We did this. Anticipated close of this. So we could do a formula to say what is this to make this equal that. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see. Let's do a formulas. Um, not formulas. Hold on, I'll find it. Data, 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 data. What if analysis? Yeah, here we go. And we'll do a goal seat. Okay. So set sell that to a value. Uh, no, set sell. Um. This, everybody with me, set sale B10 to a value of this. Well, it's not going to let me do a thing. Of 686.62. Oh, man, it won't let me do that. To a value of. Hold on. Set sell that. Oh, uh oh, set sell that to a value of by changing. No, 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 no. Set sell B10 to a value of by changing B8. By changing B8. And we would like B10 to be. I don't mind. How can I? How can I not do it? Uh. Well, I've used this plenty of times. Let's see, I'm having trouble today. The value of 680. There we go. Okay, it just wouldn't let me do the thing. So let's do it again. So let's do value. I want to make sure that you guys know how to do this. All right, go to go seat. All right, set sail B10 to a value of 686, which would equal this, right? By changing cell B8. There we go. There we go. So this kind of tells you what you can close this for so that this trade now has broken even. Everybody with me? 
So in other words, you can keep doing this thing and just keep up with your credits that you receive, your debits that you pay, so that you can figure out, hey, what can I now take the profit on this in order to make this entire trade break even? Now, I know what you're saying. Yeah, but Bobby, you paid, you know, 50 bucks for the put debit spread. Yeah, 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 yeah. you can complicate it. But this will at least say, hey, I know how to make these negative, these, these puts that I'm closing and rolling. I now know how to make these break even. Now you say, well, what if you have to roll it again? Well, you do the same thing. You just keep up with your debits and credits. All right, let's do the second one. You ready? So here's how you would now do this. So that's problem child number one. So now I'm going to copy all this. Probably put me a space in between it so I can keep up with it. Because we haven't done this in a long time. Okay. Now let's go back and let's go problem child two is this one. Whereas we uh, received a, a credit. So we'll call this naked put 87. Naked put 87. Okay. The initial trade brought in a credit of 197.06. 197.06. And we closed that naked put, and that naked put took us a debit of 570.44. Okay. Now we haven't done all of this. We haven't done this. So there you see that we've got a, a loser on the trade, right? It's a loser on the trade. All right, so now we need to go out and get a credit of greater than $570. So let's go look at this. This was in the 20-day cycle, $570. So i got to think about my multiplier, which I'm not thinking about my multiplier. So are we talking about a multiplier of... Probably just need to get about $57. $57. Okay. Let's go do that. That's what you closed it for. So you just put, you know, you need to sell two contracts around that price. Hey, that's an easy way. I, you know, in my mind, I was sitting there thinking, I got to figure it out. So thanks, Hal. That's right. So I'm going to get $57 a contract. Yeah, that's exactly right. We got to get $57. Thank you, Hal. See, I knew I did not eat breakfast this morning. So now I'm drinking one of these poor power fair life things that are okay until like you drink them for four days in a row. And then you're kind of like, I don't know, I'm getting kind of tired of it. All right, so let's go back to our trade tab. Let's go to 50, 50 here. And that makes a lot of sense, you know, try to find something for $57. So let's look at these 4,000s. We know our price is kind of goofed up here. Let's go back to it again. There's 57 there, 57. This is getting close. Let's see. Let's go to these 40 tens. It's got a better better pricing on it, doesn't it? So this for two of those would be $582 compared to the what do we say we closed them? $570? Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Hallelujah. I like it a lot. So let's go do that. Let's and we are filled for 58 50 40 10 58 50 40 10 58 50 40 10 58 50 put your little dot in there bob nes why are you not finding my nes there what the crap If that's got all of our things in it. Yeah, that one does. Let's drag that one down. There we go. So we sold two, and we'll call this naked put 92. Maybe I should put rolled naked put R naked put. How about that? Roll naked put. There we go. So these are put. This is naked. This is 50 days, 10, 26, 23. There we go. 
So our credit here was 58206. Five eighty two point oh six. So now we have credits of seven seventy nine twelve. We've got debits of this. So now let's get our thing together and do our little goal seat. What if analysis? We'll do goal seat. Set cell B twenty one to a value of seven seventy nine. By changing cell, uh, by changing cell here, Ta -da. and through the magic of whatever it is, this means that we can now trade close these when we can get a uh, debit to for closing them with two hundred eight dollars. Any questions on that at all? It's kind of deep, y'all. It's kind of deep. And it's something that we don't have to do a lot. We don't have to do this a lot, but it's good that we're doing it. And I hope everybody appreciates the fact that we're having to be um, managers now. We can't just sit back and let the money roll in. We actually have to manage these trades. So we put, today we roll two positions. Now, here's the important thing. What's this? Now, depending on the market moving, let's look at our, nail our Greeks and ratios. Okay? Because this is important. It should have helped our ratio. Now, the market's moved, so we don't know what's moved, what's done what. But let's see what our Greeks and ratios are now. Now we're at 163.95. 163.95. Do you see what we did? 163.95. And our buying power should have gone down as well. 34.950, 33.700. Everybody see why you do it. Boom. We improved our delta. We lowered our theta, which is theta is a measure of risk. So we lowered our risk and we lowered our buying power. Ta-da! Problem, child, taken care of. All right, guys. Great session. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see y'all tomorrow.